Well, the Bemidji Community Theater opened its doors to the public tonight for their first performance of Neil Simon Rumors. Reporter Emma Hudziak paid a visit to dress rehearsal on Wednesday to tell us more in tonight's In Focus. Just a minute, Doctor. We heard, we heard an enormous thud uh, when he tripped down the stairs. Good, good, that's good. Dr. Dudley, I'm sorry. I was talking to my husband. Well, we saw... Lights, cameras, cheers, and a... Uh... This weekend's performance is far from your typical musical or play. This unique story has a twist of mystery as Deputy of New York, who is celebrating his 10th wedding anniversary, when first guests arrive, they come to find that he has been shot. Now, whether he has shot himself or has been murdered, we don't know. And so that's the play ensues as far as trying to figure out what has happened. And what they should tell the other guests as they arrive. While guests have to scramble to make up rumors to the story, the characters find themselves caught up in a web of lies. Mr. and Mrs. Gorman are the first couple to arrive on scene. We start it by ourselves, and that's really nerve-wracking to be like the first person to walk on stage. Yeah. Uh, but it's also fun because we set the tone. You get the, and yeah. she's an awesome actress, so like it, she makes it really easy to just come on stage and start firing up lines. Plus, plays can go kind of can start, start to slow down. So if we set the pace fast, quick, then it yeah. keeps going. Blessing shares that he plays the role of Ken Gorman, who is described as a sleazy lawyer, one who tries to maintain the web of lies along with his wife Chris Gorman. Instead of coming forth with the truth, the rumors continue to grow. I couldn't I couldn't get through it without my, my stage husband, you know, <laughs> feed me the lines that I need to feed the Would lines. Would you relax, <laughs> woman? Oh. So my character is constantly frazzled. Uh, there's a lot going on. I'm not very good at dealing with it. I, I go to the drink to deal with it um, at, with some help from my, my stage husband here and I, I have a really good time in the second act. I have forgotten all the stress of the world. Blessing says that each character is very much their own character as they're all selfish aristocrats, awful people with their own selfish interests. Blessing adds that those characteristics start to show themselves throughout the play. We're friends, but we don't really care about each other. No, not at all. Yeah, so. Like, we fake care, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, like, the, we're, we're the, we talk behind your back, and then we're like, oh, how are you? You yeah. know, we're those people, and it's it's awful. But it's also super fun to play. So. <laughs> also, we get to drink, not real stuff, but yeah. we get to pretend we're drinking on stage, and so hey, we get to sort of track our progress through the evening. Sasha encourages everyone to come out and see the play. As she adds, it may not be suitable for small children. But it may be a great evening for adults and or parents to come out and enjoy some laughs, especially it being Valentine's Day weekend. Reporting in Bemidji with tonight's In Focus, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. And there are still five more performances scheduled, one tomorrow night at 7, another one on Sunday at 2, and then performances on the 18th and 19th are at 7, and the finale is a matinee on February 20th at 2. Face masks are required. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.